if a is equal to d, the above case, if a equal to z, d, then I can say there will be only one fixed point and it is infinity. Now, thus, by the bilinear transformation, we will end up with different different roots. So that is, first I got as, which we can say, two finite fixed point if c is not equal to zero. And second is only one finite fixed point where c is not equal to zero. That means it is nothing but we can say as a, your bilinear transformation will be parabolic. So, so this, this, was the, this was the topic of finding fixed point. So just remember for finding a fixed point what we need to do, we need to substitute w is equal to z and roots of that equation will be your fixed point. We'll solve some sums on this. So let's take an example. If suppose w is equal to 1 plus 3iz divided by i plus z. We need to find fixed point of this. So for finding fixed point I can say solution where we need to keep w is equal to z so here I can say z is equal to 1 plus 3iz divided by i plus z so just solving this I get iz plus z square which is equal to 1 plus 3iz further you can write as z square and this becomes minus 2iz minus 1 is equal to 0. Now, once you solve this, see students, z square minus 2iz and minus 1 can be written as plus of i square that is equal to 0. So I can write this is nothing but z minus i the whole square and that is equal to 0. So I, I got z is equal to therefore I can say z is equal to i is the only one fixed point of the transformation. So that was an example of fixed point of bilinear transformation. We'll be solving more sums on this and some derivation of fixed point for bilinear transformation. Thank you for watching video on internet.